Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the lead code problem maximum subarray. So you can easily do this using the OFM solution, but I'm going to show you the divide and conquer approach, which like it says is more subtle. So we have the class solution and we have the method or the max sub array. So I'm using another method called max sum in which I'm sending L and R. L is my lowermost limit and r is my uppermost limit so inside the max sum i'm dividing as it says divide and conquer so i'm dividing if l less than r i'm saying m is equal to l plus r by 2 the middle element and lss will be the max sum in the left and rss will be the max sum in the right and for css we're going to have to use a different approach but for lss and rss we can just call max sum recursively and we'll get the answer and in the end we have to then the maximum of LSS, RSS, and CSS. So our subarray will either be on the left or on the right, or it will be crossing the middle. So for finding the crossing sum subarray, we'll write the method int find CSS. We have int runs. int l, int m, and int r. So for CSS, we have to find the maximum contiguous subarray on the left, on the right, and give the sum of that. So let's say int left max, and that will be equal to, at the beginning, the a of m. And int right max, which at the beginning will be equal to a of m plus 1. And we'll keep on adding, so let's have a sum also in sum left as a of i in sum right is equal to a of m plus 1. Now, We'll have one loop for the for the right and one loop for the left. So i is equal to m plus 2 because we already got m plus 1. i less than equal to r, i plus 1. So I'll just keep on adding sum is equal to sum, sum left is equal to sum right is equal to sum right plus a of actually nums, we don't have a, we only have nums here. So plus nums of i and if it is ever greater than left right of max then we've already got right of max with this so right max is equal to sum right if it ever becomes greater than that likewise for the left part for i is equal to m minus 1 i greater than equal to l i minus minus so we have sum left is equal to sum left plus nums of i and if it ever becomes greater than left max then left max is equal to that and then in the end we're going to return the sum of that for the CSS okay so for CSS we're going from m plus 1 to r and m minus 1 to l and finding the maximum value continuously on both sides and returning the sum of that and for lss we keep we keep calling on max sum recursively till we get the individual elements and then we'll return them itself same for rss and in the end we're going to return max sum nums l plus r so let's check this for this itself 
the answer should be 12 plus 6, 18 minus 5, 13. Okay, find cases. Left mag. Just a little spelling problem. Left mag. Okay, here we go. So it's giving the right answer that is 13 which will be there in CSS because 12 minus 5 plus 6 18 minus 5 will give 13. So if we try to submit it, I've already done it once. We're getting the runtime as 1ms which is faster than 72.09% of Java online submission. But it is not the fastest because we're not using the Cardano theorem and we're doing it in n login time but we can do it in O of N using dynamic programming.